In this video, I'm going to show you how to use advanced measurements. Advanced measurements is a set of tools found in the eye guide that you can use to measure distances in 3D space. I'll show you three different modes, give you some examples of what it can be used for, and give you a few tips on getting the best results. Advanced measurement can be found by clicking on the ruler icon. You'll know you're in the right place when you see the numbers 1, 2, and 3 appear. These represent the three modes in which advanced eye guide measurement can be used. Measure mode 1. Click and drag on the floor plan to draw a line. This will allow you to measure between any two points. Measure anything on the floor plan and take as many measurements as you want. Clicking the undo button will erase previous measurements one by one, or click the ruler button to clear everything and get a clean slate. This mode is great for space planning. For example, draw lines to see if furniture or appliances will fit in a space. Get dimensions of an area for square footage, or quickly find out how long a wall is. Measure mode two. To find a wall on the floor plan by clicking and dragging. Then double click on any two points on the 360 panorama to measure between them. The features being measured must be on the wall that was just defined. This is great for measuring things on a wall like windows, doors, wall areas, or even ceiling heights. It's also a little bit faster to take measurements on a wall in this mode than it is in measure mode 3. Measure mode 3. Double click on two points in a panorama. Then, double-click on two more points in another panorama. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. This will make it easier to accurately select a feature. As long as the points represent the same feature in both panoramas, you'll be given a measurement. This is great for measuring any feature on a wall, floor, or a ceiling. After completing a measurement in modes 2 or 3, you'll see a message at the top of the screen that tells you the measurement uncertainty. The lower this number is, the better. The measurement uncertainty will vary depending on the panoramas chosen. Reduce the measurement uncertainty to the lowest possible number by trying the same measurement multiple times using different panoramas to see what yields the best results. When choosing panoramas in mode 2, try to use panoramas that are close to features you're trying to measure. This makes selecting the features easier and will reduce measurement uncertainty. When using measure mode 3, try to choose panoramas that are close to the feature being measured, but that are far enough apart from each other to offer a unique and different perspective. Try and keep measurements out of the periphery of either pano. This will also reduce measurement uncertainty. For more information about advanced measurement, please visit goeyeguide.com.